Gaudi é foda, né? Well, as you see, we are currently, well, me now, I am currently working on the Mustang today. Mikey was here helping me. Um, yeah, we still have a lot to do. And I have a month to get it done because I'm supposed to drive it to my wedding. So we have a lot to get done. Um, but we're gonna try and get it done. Hopefully we can. So today's list was rather large but slowly knocking it out we got the valves adjusted on the small block so it is ready to go in mikey is locking out the distributor this week he's going to get that done then it's ready it's, it's ready to go in everything is done with that it's just sitting here patiently waiting for me to destroy it with nitrous so i can whip on that El Camino but we won't talk about that I don't want I don't want to hurt Mikey's feelings too bad but motor is ready other than getting the sugar locked out which Mikey is working on we got it's been a pain trying to fit everything in the engine bay of this Mustang I'm trying to keep it I'm trying not to have a pro mod I want to keep it a street car and that has been very difficult to do with what i'm trying to do so we had the fuel cell where we want to mount it but it is still sitting up too high so we're going to have to trim the bottom of the hood so it will clear spots for the an fittings i have my catch can mounted my overflow can mounted i'm about to mount my bottle bracket and going to mount my fuel cell this week um so I will flip this around and show y'all what all we have going on. Fuel cell is in for the nitrous standalone. As you can see, it still sticks up a little too high. So it hits the bottom of the hood. Catch can is mounted. Coolant overflow is mounted. We put it behind the radiator to make for easy. And you know, not to just cram everything in one corner because I still have my battery up front. All of this has to get redone because it looks like straight crap and I'm tired of it. So we gotta redo that, make that look better. We gotta redo all this back here, all that. But we put it to where the drain, where the overflow tank was, right there in that, just drain it right there. All that's right there. We mounted my MSD box. back here see if i can get better view there you go i'm gonna put my timing retard right beside it as all this cluster in here 
We'll just close that back up so nobody has to see that. Okay, holes drilled from a bottle bracket. Fuel cell is ready to go in. I gotta cut some pieces of metal to weld down here for the sump. I gotta beat that in a little bit more. She's been getting abused here lately with a hammer and I don't think she likes it, but it's gonna be what it's gonna be. I gotta vacuum all this up and get everything done. So let's get started doing all of that. Okay, I haven't filmed any as I've been working because I've been doing it by myself and I've been underneath the car working. So it's been kind of difficult, but getting there slowly very slowly um bottle bracket is bolted down fuel cell is not bolted down yet i don't have straps so i got to get straps to finish that out but the bottle bracket is all in there nice and happy ready to do some work um the factory fuel lines underneath the car i got the two small fuel lines Laying down here it was not fun. I have one more big fuel line I'm fighting to get out. I took the gas pedal out, so we gotta fix the gas pedal. I mounted my bottle heater switch, on and off switch. Yeah. I'm getting there slowly, trying. Doesn't feel like I'm getting very far, but I'm getting there. This redo of the whole Mustang has been a pain, very much a pain. So I'm trying to get it done. I have exactly one month. It has to be at least running by the 1st of October. And it's currently the 2nd of September. So I have exactly one month to get this thing finished on the road, driving, being reliable. Which the Mustang was never really good at to begin with. So, but we're getting there. We're trying and we're getting there. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm trying to drag it out over a week's span. Because I'm not trying to cram a whole bunch into one single video and do and cram a whole bunch of stuff into one day. I'll be here all week. My fiance will be here with me to help me get a lot of it done. She's a little bit smaller than I am, so I can put, I would say, I'd put her down underneath the car working on it, but I, I doubt that's going to happen. But she will be here giving me a hand. She'll probably be the one sanding the engine bay down and getting that ready while I do everything else, which is fine. I need all the help I can get. Um, so, yeah, I will keep you guys updated on what goes on and show you all what I'm doing the best I can. So, yeah. Okay, just to give you all a gist of the story. This is what me and Mikey are dealing with, with wiring this thing. So we have just random wires um, jumbled up. We got stuff tied in to I mean, just wrapped around stuff so it'll work. And wires just all tangled together. Gauge lights just yeah it's it's a mess this is stuff for my tack all jumbled in down here with a bunch of other stuff so yeah this is this is a disaster it really is I mean, this is just bad now mind you we did none of this i bought the car like this like what what no why 
I was stupid enough to, to buy this car the way it is because I wanted to get into the driver's seat or something. Like, this has been, it's melted. It's been hot. What do you, the wire just wrapped around it to make it work. Yep, that's nice. So this is this is what we're dealing with with this thing. I mean, it's it's a disaster. It it it's bad. It's really bad. Uh, yeah. We're we're trying. Putting new gauges in it. Adding gauges. And this is the wiring fiasco we're dealing with. Just wires wrapped around each other and taped. To each other and yeah bare wire hanging out wrapped around a connector and I was wondering why like half of my stuff worked and it didn't work and then it did work and it didn't work and yeah this is this is this is what we're dealing with right now and it it, it it's bad it, it's horrible I don't know how this thing didn't catch on fire if I'm going to be completely honest with you, I mean, it's just bare wire everywhere. Like, there's just, there's just a wire hanging right here. It's just bare. I just, just pulled it out. It's just bare wire. That's, yes, that's so nice. Well, guys, um, I'm making a little, little update video. I have gotten a lot. Me, Mikey, and my fiance have all gotten a lot done with the car. Um, currently right now I'm I'm at home cooking dinner up on the grill. But we have made a lot of progress. Last video y'all saw, we were setting the valves and putting the stud girdles on. I really, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. Just the last thing I videoed because I've just been so busy. I was for about a week. I was staying at my parents' house because they were out on vacation, so somebody needed to take care of the cat and the dog. So I decided to stay there. So every night after work, stupid dogs. Every night after work, I was going home, working on the car, trying to get things done. Because I have now exactly three weeks to get this car running, the nitrous hooked up, and painted before my wedding. So, it's been nothing but hustling, trying to get stuff done, rushing to get stuff done, rushing to wire. And it's, it's, it's been a lot. Um... But I will put some pictures in this video to show what we have gotten done as my stupid cat sits in the window trying to get outside while I cook dinner and this stupid dog is barking. But I will put up some pictures of what we have gotten done. I apologize that this is probably going to be a really, really short video, but I just... Be 100% honest, I had, didn't have time to pull the camera out and film and get stuff done. But motor is in the car. All the nitrous stuff. Okay, let me rephrase that. 90% of the nitrous stuff is underneath the hood of the car and in the back. So, I have nitrous line ran, bottle bracket mounted. One thing I don't have is my fuel cell mounted. I don't have fuel line ran yet. We have pretty much all the wires ran to, for my MSD box and distributor. Um, we're, we're just hustling to get stuff done. I finished welding up holes in the body, so you can get it ready for paint because I had to weld up where all my badges were. I took all the badges off the car. So I got that done, Ow, a whole bunch of stuff done. But hopefully, I know this isn't like normal, but hopefully you can guys enjoy this video. Hopefully you get a little laugh of me and Mikey absolutely hacking up the engine bay of the car, trying to make 
my standalone fuel cell fit. So hopefully that gives you a little laugh. If y'all enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know what to do, and we will see y'all in the next one.